14. Complete each of the following equations, and then we have this nuclear reaction right here. So we have aluminum with the 27 on top, 13 atomic number on the bottom, combining with, so adding with a alpha particle. An alpha particle is always going to be a helium with the four on the top and two on the bottom. So if you want to just memorize the four and the two with the helium as an alpha particle, that's fine with me. And this will turn into something, which is what we have to find out, plus a neutron. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of this question mark and we're going to put it into nucleide notation. So I need to know what lettering this identity is, whether it's an atom or whether it's going to be a subatomic particle. And then I need to know the number on the top and the number on the bottom. Now, how do we do this? Well, the first thing is that you're going to treat this reaction as an algebraic expression. And the yield sign is going to be your equal sign, which means that all the top numbers on the left side have to equal all the top numbers on the right side. And then vice versa, all the bottom numbers on the left have to equal the bottom numbers on the right. So you just take it one step at a time. Let's do the top first. Now the top said that we're going to start off with a 27 and we're going to be adding a 4 to it. And that side should equal some number, which we'll call x, and then plus number 1. So let's see. We got 27 plus 4 equal x, which is what we're solving for, plus 1. So um, we got 27 plus 4. That's what? 31. 31 equals x plus 1. And then if you subtract by 1 on both sides, you get x equals 30. So that is going to be the atomic mass of whoever the, you know, the identity is. It's going to be a 30. Okay. Now let's do the same thing for the bottom. So I got a 13 atomic number for aluminum. I got a 2 atomic number for my alpha particle, the helium. I'm searching for this, and a neutron has no charge, so it's 0. And let's just do it. So let's say bottom. So we're going to say 13 plus 2 equals x, that's what we're trying to solve for, plus 0, but anything plus 0 goes bye-bye. And then if we just add these two numbers together, 13 plus 2 is a total of 15, so x equals a 15. And that's the number that goes on the bottom. Okay, so now the question is, what is this identity? Who is this? Is this an atom? Is this a particle? Well, the lower number, aka the atomic number, is always going to be the one to tell you who the atom is, because the, at the lower number is the atomic number. And the atomic number is the number of protons, which means that it's the unique number for its own element. No two elements will have the same atomic number. If you change the atomic number by one, poof, you get a brand new element. So we just got to find out where number 15 is. And voila, 15 is right here. That's a phosphorus. So capital P. And that is completing this nuclear reaction. So we had a phosphorus with a 30 atomic mass and a 15 atomic number. And that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. We got memberships on the channel if you want to become a member to the channel. Thank you so, 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 so much. Your extra support means that much to us. And I hope to be seeing you in later lessons. We got tons more stuff coming out this new school year. And best of luck to you guys. We'll be here with you every step of the way. So, yeah, nothing like a study buddy from YouTube 24-7. But um, yeah, it's been a fun ride. Thank you so much for all your support. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.